Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying my uploads every day. Thank you to everyone who has been watching and commenting. It really means so, so much to me. So today I am going to film a look with this new Pat McGrath palette. It's not really new anymore, um, but you guys haven't seen this on my channel yet, so I thought it would be fun to do a little look and give you guys my first-ish impressions on this palette. So before I do this look, I do want to show you guys swatches of this, so let's get into it. Ooh, that first shade was creamy. I did use this in my brow today as a brow bone highlighter. So those are the first shades. I have, oh my god. I have like Tom Ford brush hair everywhere because I've been using it as my bronzer brush and it just gets everywhere. So there's the first row. I don't have the shade names. I'm very, very sorry. And I will insert close-ups after I swatch the whole palette. And then the last row, there's only 10 shades. So, and there's only two mattes. Everything else is a shimmer or a sparkly duochrome of kind and then that's the last five shades so it is a very muted color combo which is fine I think it makes it easier to pair um, and pull into kind of like everyday makeup um, which is good because I feel like a lot of our other palettes are very avant-garde <laughs> or editorial I guess I could say so yeah that is the swatches let me insert the close-up here Okay guys, so now that you've seen the swatches, I'm gonna get into how I created this look. So I've been playing with this off camera for a while, but I really need to film a video with it for my channel. And so I got it here. And I also have the baby palette. This one I honestly kind of regret buying, but I also haven't really used it enough to be like, fuck it, I hate it, blah, 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 blah. So. Just letting you guys know where I am at in life right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go in to this mauve matte shade in the Pat McGrath Mothership 8 palette and I'm just gonna place that in my crease. This eye look should be pretty easy because all my eye looks are easy. <laughs> See what I did there? I made a joke. So I actually do have somewhere to be today. I am getting ready. This is actually really a fun thing for me, but I'm so tired and I don't know why. But yeah, basically what we're doing today is me and Rail usually go with our really good couple friend um so it's actually the wife's grandparents are from this little town um in north dakota i believe hillsboro and the hillsboro in hillsboro north dakota there is a house a historic house um called the plumber house I feel like Bailey Syrian right now. I feel like I'm telling a story. Um, it's not really spooky though, and there was no murdering involved. Um, but the Plumber House has an annual fundraiser around Christmas time, and they basically put on a dinner, and it's like a four or five course meal, and um, everyone in the house is like volunteers and stuff like that. I'm gonna go in with the brown shade to deepen up the outer corner. So everyone in the town of Hillsboro kind of volunteers for this dinner and um, they serve this amazing meal and the whole house is just like decked out for Christmas time. If I take any pictures, I'll try and insert them here for you guys to see, but it's so beautiful and Christmassy and it's just a really fun thing that we get to do together. I don't, we don't do, me and Rel don't do a lot of like activities with our friends really. Like, you know, some friend groups have like annual trips they take and annual like dinners and like, I don't know, different traditions. Like 
Um, you know, some people do like leagues, like what are they called? Like fantasy leagues and stuff. We don't do any of that. Um, so there's not like sports teams we both follow that we're at diehards or and stuff like that, you know? We're immigrants, like we don't do that stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously. Like, Rel's not really into sports and neither am I. Um, and um, so yeah, we don't really get involved in that kind of thing. Um, so this is like our one thing that we do a year with our friends. That's kind of like a tradition, um, a tradition. And when we first bought our house, we would have like lots of gatherings and stuff like that. But we're just so like happy when we get home. It sounds horrible, but I just, all we want to do is nothing. Like we don't want to see people. We don't want to talk to people. Like we just want to sit on the couch and just mentally prepare ourselves for the next day at work. And it's just our humdrum life and we're okay with it. You know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, I'm sad that he's not going to be here for it this year because Rill's out of town. So it's just me and our two friends and then somebody else they invited um, to fill Rail's spot. But I'm going to make the best of it and it's going to be fun. So yeah, hopefully we have a good time. Okay, so I got all my uh, base shades done. Um, we've got quite a few lid options. This color is pretty. It's like a pink flip. It's got a beautiful like um, duochrome vibe to it. I guess I decided that's the one I'm going with because I tapped it on with my finger. I'm going to grab my Sonia Builder Pro and just put more on. Okay, so it looks very subtle, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm gonna go in with the glitter glue and pack it on, cause I kinda want like some sparkle tonight. So I have these like disposable lawn things and glitter glue just moves everything around, so. Okay, so I packed on this very sparkly shade down here. It's got a ton of fallout and I don't know. I mean, I like the look, but it's nothing like I'm crazy about. I feel like I've been feeling that way a lot this past weekend as I've done different eye looks, but that's okay. I'm going to clean off my face and do my foundation and everything and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed seeing me create this. I'm sorry, I was a little bit low energy in the tutorial because I am feeling a little bit tired. It's been a long weekend. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look. And as for the palette, I am still kind of getting to know this palette to be very honest. I've used it maybe four times now and it's getting really interesting with Pat McGrath because the first three, I just genuinely had so much fun exploring and four, I haven't really used that much because it's like an all shimmer palette. Five was epic. And now I feel like six and seven have been just kind of like, eh, like, you know, not the most, most excited. Is this six and seven? Not as excited about her shadows, like the color schemes more so because I thought the first ones were so, so unique, but I do want to go back and like play with the old ones and then rank my palettes and I kept meaning to do that and then I found out she was coming out with this one so I put that off but I'm thinking after Star Wars it's going to be a little bit quiet hopefully for her so maybe that video will be soon. So yeah, I like it. It's a good palette. I think it's a great everyday thing for people and for me, my Pat McGrath palettes are definitely more of a special occasion type palette. So I do think it's nice that she is doing that. This one also has some repeat shades. I think that was kind of a downer for people, especially considering the price tag. <sighs> Mine is super dusty, but 
yeah, overall it's beautiful and of course very majestic. I was planning on using this little guy today, but I don't know, I didn't end up using this. I definitely need to play with this more, but I don't know, once I got it in person, I was really bummed and I like hated how they did the launch of this one because they made it seem like it was gonna be a Pat McGrath website exclusive and then turned out it wasn't, which was very, very frustrating because I could have gotten it on Sephora during the Sephora sale and I thought that it was a Pat McGrath exclusive so I bought it on her site right away which was really kind of irritating for me. So anyway, that's kind of all my thoughts on Pat McGrath right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my video tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye!